Hey, what's up, YouTube? Scott Sky Nutrition, uh, back with another video. Um, so, yeah, it's the morning after. Uh, Brewers eliminated Game Seven last night, um, and they are out. And it's going to be Dodgers and Red Sox in the World Series. So, congrats to those two teams, and um, hopefully, it's a, a good World Series. Um, just really, really proud of uh, my Brewers team this year. Um, I think they're projected to win like 80 games this year. They won 102 games at the end of all said and done. Um, and I mean, to win game 163 against the Cubs to take the division was awesome as a Brewers fan. Um, to see that, uh, a lot of indication there. And then to sweep the Rockies in the NLDS was just amazing. Um, and then to push the Dodgers to the brink uh, in Game 7 was was just a lot of fun to see. And then, you know, Game 7 last night, they just came out a little flat. Um, Walker Buehler came to pitch. Um, he's a really good young pitcher, and I think he's going to be a really good player, and he already is for the Dodgers. And he had it, and the Brewers could not figure him out last night. And he pitched a solid, I think it was six or seven, six, or six innings, I think it was. And just tons of strikeouts from the Brewers last night. Uh, the Brewers, uh, their pitching's been great all year, um, but gave up two timely home runs last night uh, to Bellinger and to Puig. Um, so, I mean, Josh Hader was amazing at this whole year, um, but last I mean, he couldn't pitch nine innings. He pitched three innings last night, so he gave them the best that he could. So, um, I wish the best for the Dodgers, um, except for Manny Machado. Not a fan of that guy. Um, I don't know how you all feel, but I just think he's a punk, <laughs> and um, he's always been a punk, but the whole ankle thing, you know, you could actually really hurt a guy's Achilles doing what he did, and I just thought that that was complete Bush League. Um, other than that, the Dodgers, I have no problem with the Dodgers, but Machado is a bum, and I just, I'm, I will not be cheering on Manny Machado in the World Series. So, with that being said, it was a fun season, a fun ride, but that ride is over. It's closing time, as you can hear uh, Semi-Sonic in the background. So, But I did feel like it would be a good uh, time to go through a little video of, all, of my Brewers cards. Um, I do have the all-time Brewer set that I'm working on, on the PSA registry. Um, I have five cards left to get in that set, but I'm going to go through what I have so far. Uh, this is the uh, 69 Tops uh, Don Money rookie card. Don Money, you can see him on the right there. Not a super expensive card, but uh, it is part of that set. Got the uh, 72 Tops Jim Slayton in Gem Mint 10. This card's actually only Pop 15, so this is kind of a, a bigger card for the set. He was a great pitcher for the Brewers. Uh, I say the Brewers started in 1970 after coming over um, from the Seattle Pilots. We've got the, um, let's see, 72 tops uh, Ogilvy, Ben Ogilvy rookie card. Also Say and Bernie Williams. Um, got the uh, 74 tops Gorman Thomas in mid nine. Awesome card there. Love that pose. And of course, a card I picked up earlier this year, the uh, 75 tops Robin Yount in the grade of a nine. So happy to have that card. Um, and then we've got uh, the 77 tops rookie infielders Jim Gantner in Gem Mint 10. See Gantner down there. His nickname was Gumby. Uh, was a really, really good player for the Brewers. I just want to check the pop on that card. That card is pop 12, actually. Uh, I picked this up on an auction about a year ago. So, nice card there. And we've got the uh, 78 Tops rookie uh, shortstops, Paul Molitor, also Alan Trammell rookie, of course. We've got the uh, 05 uh, Tops updates and highlights, Ryan Braun rookie. And then um, have the um, 05, I believe this is 05, yep, Upper Deck Reflections, Prince Fielder rookie card. Um, I need to uh, either try to get this flipped over to a PSA 10, 
or just wait for a PSA 10. For whatever reason, I've not been able to see one in the last couple of years come up for sale. I know they're out there, but I've not seen them. So I will need to, to uh, cross this over at some point or just find a 10 and sell this one. But I do have the card, so that's the most important thing. Just not part of the set yet. Um, and then I have a couple other cards that aren't part of the set, but are vital Brewers cards in my opinion. You got the uh, Bob Uecker rookie card here in the grade of an eight. The really tough card, of course, the 62 tops. And got the 2014 Finest, one of the coolest Yount autos out there, I think. Especially the gold in the background and the blue mixed with the Brewers blue and gold. It's just such a cool looking card. And then, of course, the uh, Yelich Refractor uh, Quad 9.5s that I picked up earlier this year. Before Yelich uh, really exploded, this card's really taken off. It's probably quadrupled or at least maybe even pentupled in value from what I got this for. Looking at your NL MVP right there, in my opinion. Um, so that's that, and then here are what I need yet. So I talked about the fielder down here that I need to cross over. Um, the 2000 Bowman Chrome Ben Sheets and the 96 Bowman's Best Jeff Jenkins. I have both these cards at PSA right now. That order should hopefully be ready in the next couple weeks here. And I'll have that to go through with you guys and gals. Um, and then these, this 85 Tops Teddy Higuera rookie card, there's actually a PSA 9 available right now on eBay. But like I, I've been kind of going back and forth with the seller and he just... He won't budge on his price, even though one clearly sold. I, I gave him a fair offer for what the last one sold for, but he just uh, will not, would not budge on his price, so I'm being stubborn and I'm not buying it because it is only a PSA 9, 85 card, so uh, I'll just wait for a 10. Um, and then we have the um, these two I will need to grab at some point, the 72 top Cecil Cooper. That one um, is a little pricey because it also has the Fisk rookie card as a part of it. Um, but I will grab that one at some point and then the 69 tops Raleigh fingers Rookie card as well in the grade of an eight. I'm fine with an eight for both of these cards. So and then I'll have that set finally complete So that I think is about it um, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with my evenings now that I don't have to watch the stress of daily playoff baseball anymore um, I will be watching the World Series obviously won't be as stressful with my team not in it so World Series predictions. Um, I'm going to go with the Red Sox in six. I think they're a good team. Um, I think they know how to do it all. They can play small ball. They can hit for power. Um, they can pitch. Um, I think I feel like the Dodgers got themselves in trouble. Uh, you know, not only throughout the season, but certainly in the postseason, with not being able to do that small ball stuff. And um, I mean, you saw it last night. They had two two big home runs. A two-run homer and a three-run homer, and that was their run. So on those nights when they, that's not working, that could be a little challenging for them. And I think the Red Sox in six. So, but yeah, congrats to Caesar, Pepino Man, and G's Mikey, and any other Dodger fans out there that are watching my videos. I know Raiders Nation 75, you as well. Congrats to your, congrats to your Dodgers as well. But I still think Machado's a bum. You guys all have a great day, and hope you enjoyed the video. And enjoy the World Series.